The 10 rescued in the 11th hour, thousands flocked to Pewaukee Lake for the fireworks that almost did not happen. And we hope you're having a very happy 4th of July. Of course, fireworks, a big part of the 4th. Yeah, we really didn't get them last night because of all the fog, and they almost didn't happen in Pewaukee tonight because of budget cuts. But as Shannon Sims reports, the community stepped in and saved those fireworks. Shannon. Hey, you guys, it was $11,000 they were short of, but because of generous donations, they were able to put the show on. Now, the main show is over, but, you know, out here in Lake Country, the fireworks are still going on. Whether on the water or on the shore in the village of Pewaukee, there really isn't a bad spot on the lake to view the fireworks show. That was up to the boys. They came down here and got a good spot. Kim LaFleur and her nephew have been staking out this spot on the beach all afternoon long. Carson has kept himself busy by spending most of his time in the water. In and out, build a sandcastle, in and out. As the day went on, hundreds filled Main Street and the waterfront. Are you excited about the fireworks? Yeah. What's the best part? The, all the colors. The big spectacular that many had been waiting for almost didn't happen this year. The village needed $11,000. But thanks to some generous donations, the village was able to keep the tradition alive. Pretty sad because we're used to coming out here, so we're glad to hear that it, you know, they raised the money and it turned out. Once the sun set, the display of red, white, and blue did not disappoint. Mother Nature allowed the fireworks to be seen by all. And you know what? I don't care how old it gets or how old you get. When it comes to fireworks, it just makes you feel like a kid. And much of the commentary that we heard out here from much of the kids was ooh, ah, and wow. And again, Mother Nature did not disappoint us out here in Pewaukee. And again, like I said, you can see along the lakefront, the fireworks are still going on. Reporting live in Pewaukee, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. And that dazzling sight never gets old. <laughs> Shannon, thank you very much.